okay, this video is just going to be a fun video, or maybe others might find it interesting. Now, if you look at my bench, you can see a bunch of microcontrollers that I've used in the past. Now, on the very left is a very common Nano, that male AVR. And then we've got the Pro Micro, we've got the Pro Mini, and we get into ARM microcontrollers. We've got the Blue Pill, we've got the Black Pill, and then we've got the ARM RP2040. So we get the RP2040 Pico and the RP2040 Zero. Now when beginners grab one of these microcontrollers, the first thing they want to do is mount it on a breadboard and run a blink sketch. So in this video, we're going to have a look at the smallest amount of code needed to blink an LED. Okay, this is probably the most common blink sketch that you have seen. Now this is written in the Arduino IDE. So the first thing we do, we run our setup, which makes pin 13 an output, which is connected to the LED, which is on board the Uno or Nano. And then we go into a loop. Now in this loop, we drive pin 13 high, then there's a delay for one second, and we drive it low, another delay for one second, and that's continuously running a loop, and that will blink the LED. Okay, we are going to run the smallest blink sketch on the propeller microcontroller, which you can see mounted on my breadboard. Now this is the P1 propeller microcontroller, which will be running Tachyon 4th. So inside this microcontroller, there are eight 32-bit microcontrollers called COGS, and I'm only going to use one COG in this video. So next we're going to have a look at the schematic. Okay, here's a schematic diagram of our setup with the propeller microcontroller, and you can see it on the very left. So the propeller microcontroller has 32 GPIO pins, and they're labeled P0, you can see here, it goes all the way down to P15, and it goes over to 16, and it goes all the way up to P31. Now there's four being used, P28, 29, 30, and 31, are used for the serial EEPROM and for the FTDI module, but the rest we could use. So in this video, I'll be using P0, P6, and P12. And we could do, do a little demo and run the smallest blink sketch. Okay, I got my circuit up and running, and I have three LEDs connected up to the GPIO pins. This one's on pin 0, this one's on pin 6, and this one's on pin 12. But we're going to concentrate on the one on pin 0. That's the one I'm, I'm going to be using. So I'm going to write a sketch. I'm actually going to write it on my keyboard and I'm going to run it. So I'll do it right now. I'll write it and run it and there's our LED blinking. So what did I type? What's my sketch? That's my sketch. Zero blink. So zero is the pin, the GPIO pin number and blink blinks the LED. So we could have a number from zero to 31 and then just type blink and that will blink that pin or that LED. Now if you remember the Arduino IDE where it was in a loop, it was in a constant loop blinking the LED and it was taking up all the resources of the microcontroller so it couldn't do anything else. But in this case this, this is not taking any resources from the microcontroller. I could prove that. I still have uh, my keyboard is still under control so I could turn on this LED which is on GPIO pin 6. So if I go 6 high turns it on. If I go 12 high, turns on the one on pin 12. I could turn that one off. So I go 12 low and 6 low. Now to turn off the LED, I type mute and that will turn it off. And if I type 0 blink, now if I type 6 blink, you blink in 6, and if I type 12 blink, it goes up to GPIO 12. If I hit mute, it turns it off. So why do we use mute? Mute usually means to, to mute audio. So next we're going to have a look at that. We're going to hook up a scope and a, a speaker to GPIO pin 0. Okay, I'm going to go further on this blink sketch. So I have a speaker and a scope hooked up to GPIO pin 0, which is the first LED. So if I go 0 blink to get it up and running, see it's blinking. Now I can actually change the rate of blink. If I type 5 hertz, that's HZ, see it's blinking faster. If I type 20 hertz, it's faster. I'll turn on my speaker. Go 100 hertz. I'll go a thousand hertz. And I'll go mute. 
So you see we could get audio of that blink sketch and we could actually make some tunes or we could do some sound effects. So I'll go siren. I'll go ring. And I'll go beep. Okay, so that's the smallest blink sketch I could think of. So zero blink, we'll blink the LED. And mute, we'll shut it off. And to change the flashing rate, you give it a number in hertz and we'll flash at that rate. So is that the smallest blink sketch ever? I don't know, I'll have to keep looking.